Hi everyone, this is Anisha here, the Director of Business Development at Cat King and co-founder of Sounds of Silence. I had a fun interaction with Duju today on this Taking It Slow podcast. If you guys also had fun and loved the energy and the interactions, please do hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and definitely share it with your friend circle and everybody else. I have known my guest today for over 8 years now and for every day of those 8 years I have been inspired by her dedication energy and kindness over and over again she has taken a path untaken to pursue what she feels really really passionate about it's an absolute pleasure to reconnect and to invite on the taking it slow podcast none other than my very close friend Anisha Mukherjee what's up hi everyone hi duju what's up Long yeah. time, yeah. It's been ages It, since I've met you. I am so thankful for this podcast. कि मुझे चार साल बाद तेरी शकल देखने को मिल रही है. Finally. <laughs> thanks, thanks for this podcast. Actually, वरना तो कितना busy हो गया यार. Pretty light का business चलाने sure. में तू. Sure. और वो, नहीं तो. हाँ, अब हम pretty light के बारे में बात कर सकते हैं क्योंकि उन्हें pretty light छोड़ दिए. उससे पहले मेरा ये राइडर राइडर रहता था कि हाँ कैन नॉट नेम द कंपनी ऑफ वर्किंग फॉर कैन नॉट नेम द कंपनी ऑफ वर्किंग फॉर शू हो जाओगे एनीज वट हैव यू बीन अप टू सो सो अरिशा आई वॉज एज आई वॉज जस्ट जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट इन द इंट्रो यू यू क्लियरली बीन नॉट समन हु हैज शाइड अवे फ्रॉम टेकिंग एन अनकन्वेंशनल रूट इन राइट फ्रॉम वेरी अर्ली 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 ईयर्स इन योर लाइफ सो जब तूने एन एन ज्वाइन किया था उस टाइम पर भी तूने बताया था हमको कि यू वर इन्वॉल्व इन समथिंग कॉल्ड एस ओ एस विच इज uh which is such a wonderful idea if you think about it and such a benevolent idea if you think about it uh but hundreds of people think of ideas there are very few who have who have the courage or the guts to follow up on that idea uh, for anyone who doesn't know who is listening for the first time tell us a little more about sos sure so sos basically is uh, sounds of silence and uh, we started years back with this simple idea that uh, all of us are talking right now and we can listen to each other but the people who can't hear who can't speak they don't have a way to showcase their emotions or try something new that curiosity is there for everyone so you know even if like you will sit for 2 seconds with your mm-hmm. eyes and ears and mouth everything closed you'll actually feel a lot of other you'll be able to hear the trees you'll be able to hear the birds everything but these kids from childhood have never heard any of that so what we had thought was that you know let's try and bring some uh, in excitement into their lives we came up with the concept of learning to type so using a mobile phones we had those qwerty phones uh, which used mm-hmm. to come long back keypad wale ha right yeah so those same keypad wale phones we gave it to these hearing impaired kids taught them to type write letters and make use of it and uh, that has now led to another level we teach them in various schools we are a part of their curriculum we've also given them jobs we have people who have finished their schooling in 10th instead of doing those blue collar jobs they now learn mm. seo and uh, digital marketing and uh, you know we go to various shops and you write your feedback it's on a diary usually so they digitize mm. it and make use of that for their crm so that that's what uh, sos so is cool all about so cool here so freaking so, cool yeah. I, i i still remember hum logo ko na ek bar kisi to marketing class mein ek presentation banana tha of uh, new ventures and we thought yeah. uh, being the being the free riders that we were hum saath logon ka group hota tha usme se ek but ek bandi thi jo kaam karti thi uska naam tha anisha and uh, anisha ne pura sos ke upar ek mast sa slide banaya aur hum baaki 6 logon so it was a 25 26 decks ka slide decks ka ppt and hum 6 logon ne ek slide ki zimmedari li introduction slide <laughs> <laughs> and baki 25 slides anisha ne present kari thi obviously we got uh, marks accordingly hamare jo teacher the unko bhi clearly pata chal gaya ye 6 gadhon ne kuch nahi kiya hai <laughs> introduction karne ke liye aa gaye samne khade ho gaye 6 log aur ek bandi baki pura present kar rahi hai so i remember about sos from from back in that back in those days yeah. but sos shuru karne se pehle bhi tu to infosys mein job kar rahi thi na us time pe yes so after engineering i was working in infosys uh, pune and and we all do yeah <laughs> so everyone is a part of those it same rat yeah. rat race and then you want some change <laughs> so you plan to do different things and like you mentioned like you know you are uh, trying something unconventional c 
See, if you want to try mm. something different and you want to take a risk, you actually more than having the guts, you also need people around to support you. So yeah. I definitely had my dad's instincts, who's been an entrepreneur, who's been different always. So kind of encouraged, go try whatever you want to try. Uh, not everybody's mm. parents let you do that. And I had mm. a mentor who was into this whole, whose idea it was. It wasn't my mm. original idea. It was his idea, which was to, you know, uh, do something like this. But again, you need people to support you when you have an idea. So this idea was uh, on his mind for the past almost, you can say, three years, sleeping over it, didn't do anything. And then we just uh, were three, four of us who were trying to get out of our rat race, get into MBA zone and, you know, do something. And we realized, you know, it will be done later, when it MBA or whatever. Let's try this now. Let's do it right yep. away. And... Uh, we started going. So initially, when we came with this whole idea, I know it sounds very cool. You're going to teach with mobile hmm. phones. But you go to a hmm. teacher and the first thing action is, phone phe padhai nahi hoti hai, wo khilona hai. Thek do, tum allowed nahi ho schools. <laughs> Nobody allowed us to actually teach them. In any of the schools, you have these special hearing impaired schools. So nobody yeah. let us yeah. do that. And uh, there is one place called as Dongri Remand Home, which is in Mumbai. Hmm. 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 Uh, that's a place where you have kids with dark stories. They might have stabbed someone, they might have robbed, they might have done whatever possible and that's why they're in the remand home. So they had nine students who were deaf, nine kids. Okay. And they said, okay, you can try. So that is where hmm. we actually started with SOS. We went to the remand home. Absolutely kids who first initially scared us, like, you know, Everybody gave us 10 warnings. Why are you going to Dongri's remand home to teach? And uh, you know, let's try. We went there, we made them write ABCD, we made them write a few words like Apple and you know, how you teach kids Apple, ball, etc. Yep, yep. And they typed it out. And when we were leaving the first day, there was one kid, his name was Shahid. He actually wrote happy on the phone at the end of it before giving it to us. And that is when we were very sure that now we are going to make sure we are doing this yeah. for sure. Yeah. Like he was not taught happy by us. He heard it somewhere. He's read it somewhere before and he actually wrote that. So that means they really like doing it and this idea is going to work. And then we made sure we will fight to get into all schools, give us a try. And they actually gave us trial by substituting the sports or PT period. That you are not going to you are going to so, mm, sports mm, hota hai, mm, hafte mein, five days, usme se two days, you all come, teach. And then the students were given an option, which one do you want to choose? And all of mm. them had chosen our team coming and teaching. So, we got in properly and then we started teaching full throttle. So, now in the students, we have an exam of English, which we take at the end of it. And that's also a part of their scoring at the end of it. Abhi, kya chal rahe, SOS ke saath? you still involved? Yes, yes. So right now, because hmm. of pandemic, we can't go to the school. So this the this story, the story is a decade back, right? Oh, uh, you can say not three years, eight years back. Yeah. Eight years back. Eight hmm. years back. Yeah. 2013 is when 2012, 13 is when we had this hmm. and we started. Ki, okay, we will do this. And that's when I actually 2012 is a decade this. back, Anisha. I mean, it's been 22 years. It's been 2012, it's a decade. It's been 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 a decade. Anyways, huh. Okay, sorry. How about those are pandemic for a out of that? Yeah, so decade back actually. So we that's hmm. when I left Infosys. Then NM happened and I was teaching simultaneously in schools. We grew, we spread from Mumbai to Delhi, Pune in three cities. So we were teaching in different cities and uh, then almost you can say five years back is when we realized ki we are teaching them in schools. But once hmm. they are done with the schooling, they go out for jobs and they become either a cleaning staff or somewhere or, you know, that kind of blue collar jobs. Hmm. There were hmm. some of them who were learning carpentry to, so that they can get a job, learning welding. Hmm. But again, that's not a uh, sustainable job. So we yep. started that people who have finished, we train them more. So we train them, we got them NIT certified, make them learn PowerPoint, MS Office, learn a little bit of digital marketing. So if you see all hmm. our digital marketing, we do search engine optimization and everything. Yeah. It's all process yeah. based. You just need yeah. to know one, two, three, four things which you have to do on a daily basis. So Got we it. started teaching them on that and 
currently so i also along with sos then started uh, working with cat king so at our mm. entire all offices of cat king we have one hearing impaired person who works in each one of them and he handles the social media for us replying to instagram messages youtube uh, search engine optimization on our website on our youtube videos tags everything so they know all of it in fact uh, we would have probably 2000 or so followers at max on our insta channels my mm, hearing mm. impaired people have 25000 they have a huge <laughs> <laughs> so they are influencers and uh, <laughs> amazing <laughs> so cool yaar yeah. i mean you close the loop yourself you start them and then you later employ them to yourself so so yeah. cool so uh, they they give them a job no then otherwise hmm. whatever we teach and end of the day they are not getting paid so it really doesn't make hmm. sense so yeah nice. that's that's all that's all so, so you've been associated with sos uh, right before nm through nm post nm with your corporate job as well then with catering as well so uh, tr- truly a, a, con- a connection that's lasted lasted a decade it has yes. been a decade it now is. a decade <laughs> <laughs> i think it takes a lot of effort on your your part as well here yeah? so mai if i talk about my venture mai to i can just talk about this podcast that i have been running it's been almost 2 years and it's taken a toll ke ha har hafte kuch karna hai to uske liye it takes a lot of effort to put out that level of consistency ke ha har week kuch karna hai and for you to do that over 10 years takes immense courage and immense sacrifice if i can if i can put it that way mm, i honestly i think yes it's a lot of uh, efforts and like discipline is required i mean we were mm. all voluntarily teaching in schools no one paid us mm. i had a team of mm. 90 volunteers none of them paid so you have to mm. keep each one of them motivated you have to keep them excited and mm. uh, still make sure you show up so like mm. with mm. nm i know i used to run i have come late for my exam because i was uh, at one of the schools yeah. and i finished and yeah. i ran in and gave the exam so you have to balance and you have to juggle it's i think uh, if you're doing something ekdam dil se you'll make time for it so that's that's what you have to juggle with and eventually that uh, needs to be on a t-shirt with some it that <laughs> should be on a t-shirt if you're doing something dil se you'll make time for it and yes nice absolutely i think we used to call it as our uh, tagline as uh, do more than exist so whatever you want i remember i remember wearing that t-shirt quite often yes Yes. <laughs> so all of you guys have been a part of it. Any any ideas mm. I have, and we want to raise funds. You guys were the first ones. Yeah. So come on, that <laughs> we got you. You guys were our guinea pigs for it. <laughs> <laughs> to post and so nm ke throughout see nm at the end of the day is a college jisme se tum time nikal sakte ho and uh, you have your fixed hours jisme classes hongi uske baad it is up to you how much you want to be involved in your academics in your projects etc so it's up to you if you join 10 societies then you will reduce on your time but again you you can decide how uh, busy or free you want to be in in your college yeah. life post college you were obviously placed with a pretty uh, well reputed corporate firm as well uh, not taking any names uh, but through that as well you were able to uh, maintain your association with sos and you were able to dedicate time and for anyone who is in a in a uh, post graduation mba job uh, post graduate post mba corporate job you know how how time is of the essence and how much paucity you have of getting your own free time and jitna uh, time time tumhe milta you you'll rather come home watch netflix and sleep but through apart from that as well you still been associated with with a corporate job how how difficult was that and how uh, how frustrated were your family with it ke sara subah se shaam tak to office mein kaam karegi wapas aake fir to sos ko time degi ha bare liye time kab niklega so uh, yeah i think the two sacrifices which you mentioned like you know you have to sacrifice one was uh, through that one year i didn't see anything mm. on netflix i have not met my friends i have not uh, spent time at home with family to the extent my best friend stopped talking to me because i do not have time it had of taken course. a lot of efforts to hmm. convince back that you know we you you would believe you will not believe yeah, that yeah. me and me had stopped talking because i don't have time 
and hmm. we were the best buddies in college you know there was no scope yeah. of not really doing that so it is hmm. a lot of sacrifice but you know you have to juggle you have to juggle through your own priorities so at that time a uh, career was my priority i didn't want to do anything different and uh, hmm. fortunately unfortunately i was juggling three things i had hmm. my job thankfully the job was not very pressurizing they had a culture of 8 uh, to 6 they didn't hmm. believe in extending hours which a lot of companies these days you mean you know it's like a fad the more hours you put hmm. the more hard working you are that's the kind of, of uh, corporate yeah, yeah. Uh, atmosphere which we live in but uh, here it was more of like 8 to 6 you come at 8 you leave at 6 no one's going to question you at all and for me uh, it was my job it was sos where i i can't go and teach because now that comes in 8 to 6 hours so i had to make sure my volunteers are well trained enough and i had mm. good leads so the structure mm. was well in place the two years of mba we were able to whatever we learned in college apply it out here your management skills mm. your team building skills everything and uh, weekends i would spend time with all of them so weekends mm. i was uh, meeting my team fixing up their issues understanding what's happening and if something mm. is required on certain days uh, you can always fall sick and go and fix up uh, the school <laughs> then <laughs> no one uh, questions you if you are sick so that <laughs> that's a hack out of it but don't try that <laughs> and the third i was was i was want I wanted to I always liked helping people I think that's something which I hmm. really liked mentoring teaching and helping so I was getting into cat king that time I started working right after MBA into it and hmm. I had hmm. my own space I set it up in Pawai right from scratch right from selecting yeah. every light bulb of it so it was three different things where two you are like an entrepreneur you're struggling each and every problem is your problem you don't have an option and the other corporate so after one year it became a little frustrating now you need to start thinking like where do you want to go what do you want to juggle mm. with so mm. uh, thankfully i chose that time that i'll leave corporate and i'll stick to what my passion is and uh, it's turned out well now So यार तू इतने आराम से मतलब जो बोल रही है ना कि थैंकफुली आई चोज टू लीव माई कॉर्पोरेट नेट पर्स यू माई पैशन इट इज अट इजियर सेट देन डन आई मीन हम लोग हम जैसे लोग हर रोज सोचते हैं यार कि दिस इज नॉट वेर माई पैशन लाइज नाइन टू फाइव जॉब इज नॉट वट आई वॉन्ट टू डू फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ माई लाइफ आई वॉन्ट टू बी आउट देर मेकिंग अ डिफरेंस आई वॉन्ट टू परस्यू एक्सप नहीं होता है मतलब विद द प्रेशर ऑफ सी थर्टी को जो सैलरी आने का एडिक्शन uh, है ना कि हाँ हर थर्टी को सैलरी आएगी यू सी दैट अमाउंट क्रेडिट इन इन योर बैंक अकाउंट इट इज लाइक अ ड्रग यू टू टू लेट गो ऑफ दैट ड्रग टू लेट गो ऑफ दैट एडिक्शन टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ करेज एंड नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट पीपल आर नॉट एबल टू डू दैट बी इट बी इट बिकॉज ऑफ योर ओन वीक विल और लैक ऑफ डिटर्मिनेशन बी इट बिकॉज ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज बी इट बिकॉज Family expect करती है कुछ हाँ they have poured x amount of money in your education mm. so they want to see you earn that back they want to see you be at a pedestal in life in the corporate structure so there are a lot of hindrances there are a lot of hurdles which you have to jump over uh, just to make that decision and तू इतना आराम से बोल रही है हाँ उस time पे I thought कि हाँ मुझे नहीं करना है corporate job I want to follow my passion that is always going to be there I mean uh... you will have people who support you you'll have people who don't support you it hmm. being very very honest uh, it took me you can say 8 years to convince my mom and my brother what i chose back then was right it was in this hmm. pandemic when they actually said that for the first time that you know what you're doing is good till then yes. it wasn't so it's it's hmm. uh, every day you are beating that that you know you have to stick with your choice so you have to make it work there is no question mm. of uh, not doing well in any mm. entrepreneurial venture you will have your ups and downs and where i went in one was a non profit you can't earn there mm. and the second yep. is setting up into education a new space a new place beating against giants our competitors yeah. are extreme giants who come with 50 years of legacy but still sticking to what your content is what your approach is i think that worked for us 
and that helped us come up onto it uh, year on year the struggle was a lot then pandemic hmm. hit where uh, everything shut down immediately hmm. so there was hmm. nothing possible whatever we did hmm. was offline there was hmm. no way out of it so then you either you cry out of it or you figure out an alternate you adapt hmm so you know you have to change and this was the time when someone came and told us actually you know this is the year you can actually beat your giants because you know it's a it's a very fancy saying that it takes time for elephants to move and yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's what actually happened the entire competition could not adapt to the whole online shift and for hmm. us being younger being having dynamic people around us we hmm. could change everything online for both hmm. the aspects so whether it's teaching at cat king uh, we are literally if i have to say we are 12 times bigger than what we were when we were offline and uh, with the sos also we can't go to schools and teach but we always used to have this uh, one initiative which we started 5 years back called as 100 hmm. santas where hmm. in mumbai hmm. i remember that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i have been so a part of that yeah, of course we used to all be dressing up as santas and giving gifts to street kids so we hmm. started off with the the idea was 100 people and one hmm. person each giving 10 gifts so we'll reach to 10000 gifts like that Hmm. we were able to do that offline in mumbai very well then when with uh, hmm. online we thought let's not do it there's no scope but the team was like why not we can still do it in fact we can do it at a bigger scale so from having a volunteers team in mumbai we actually had our volunteers we would all connect on zoom everybody collect and donate gifts in their areas we were all across india we've gone to smallest places like varanasi and so many villages which i had not even heard of names before like there was guntur karke koi jagah hai kabhi suna nahi tha but i have my hmm. team of volunteers there as well so it's been 2 years now instead of having 100 santas we actually have more than 200 santas every year so nice you just have to nice grab the chance and change that's so you've been you've been talking about cat king uh, on and off quite a bit uh, so you are of course the director for business development at cat king uh, this take us through your journey in like a couple of years ke shuru kahan se kiya what uh, okay. pushed you to leave leave your uh, leave your well paying well reputed job at the company that shall not be named and uh, what was the trigger for you and uh, do you feel vindicated at after after 4 years you, you've been with them for 4 years right 6 full time <laughs> Six full time, okay. 2000, yeah, six full time. Two thousand sixteen, I left. So yeah. Hmm. Ah, uh, boy, so my two years pandemic has cut me. So I. Think, I remember two thousand fifteen, sixteen. Me, when I when Cat King to join, was doing. So I, I was there in the office. I've, I've seen the office once. You know, go up on the two floors. I saw it. And uh, yes. then we went and uh, ate brownies on Tio Bro. I remember that. <laughs> that that <laughs> more than Tio. <laughs> that's that's exactly the same place where i started so it's got you know yeah, yeah. mumbai you have a lot of constraints you have to optimize mm. space so we had yeah. one office space where we made it into mm. two parts upstairs was the office downstairs was the class and mm. uh, so i think i started that right after mba there was a time you know after mba and before you join your job you yeah there are a couple of months yeah so in that break time is where i started this and uh, i you know you have I, i don't know i have some kind of an addiction towards numbers you give me a target then i want to achieve that by hook or crook so mm. we had set our targets like i will have 100 students whom i'm going to teach them mm. and uh, the entire competitive sphere which was there because the location was pavai not close to anything and everybody was like that's not possible this is a tough market so you mm. know mm. and someone if tells me not possible i think that's even more to karna hai wo to karna hi ab to and we were mm. able to do it and so a lot of my competition hates me for that but that's okay i did my job of reaching my targets and then i was doing it uh, so with my job was 8 to 6 which was in uh, for people who who have lived in mumbai you would know there's new bombay so my office hmm. was there and my this uh, cat king was in pavai so every day 8 hmm. to 6 i used to do there 6 o'clock sharp i leave like absolutely sharp on time reach sure at 7 so that i can meet all the students or their parents whoever is required and come back home at 11 so that was my nice. routine for 5 days of the week 
Saturdays and Sundays full time cat king and SOS because uh, and to reach there at eight you have to leave your place by six forty five seven. Seven. Seven, yeah. So yeah. seven to eleven was your everyday job, everyday routine. Yes, seven to eleven. No, was no wonder no you didn't and... speak to Mega. I mean, yeah. <laughs> not speak to anyone actually. <laughs> <laughs> घर वाले भी नहीं मिलते थे कि खाना तो कम से कम साथ में खा लो वो भी नहीं होता था बट ठीक है एक साल वो कर लिया एंड देन इट वाज लाइक कि यार अब तो तुम कर सकते हो बट लाइफ लॉन्ग दिस रूटीन विल नॉट वर्क यू नॉट सस्टेनेबल सस्टेनेबल या एब्सोल्युटली एंड बिकॉज़ आई एम वर्किंग सैटरडे संडे आल्सो आई एम डूइंग 7 डेज अ वीक सो इट्स एब्सोल्युटली नॉट फीजिबल टू डू दैट सो देन आई टुक अ डिसीजन दैट लेट्स लीव माय कॉर्पोरेट एंड लाइक आई सेड आई हैड गुड पीपल Uh, my dad was like okay give yourself 2 years if hmm. you can sustain in 2 years fine otherwise you hit back to corporate get a job again and uh, my person who the person who hired me was the one who i was working with at uh, hmm. so there they made sure he was like you know uh, never come back don't see there is a way around back you if you've chosen just make sure you turn everything around to make it work because it's your idea and mm. i kind of loved that like you know he there was a question at one point of time should i should i not leave and he yeah. said if you thought about it just go for it it's your age if you don't do it now you can never do it and mm. i kind of really loved the thought that he gave and i jumped on to it left everything and decided okay i'm going to do my own terms my own way of uh, setting up cat kings growing with sos both of these things and we turned a lot of things around we started growing expanding offices so from managing one i started running three offices then i do a lot of digital marketing that's something what i learned and i enjoyed in mba hmm. days as well hmm. so we took this to digital platforms uh, we do a lot of different collaborations and uh, marketing for other ventures as well so growing that way uh, it was something which is it's i can just say one thing it's like a new challenge every day and as compared to a normal job i mean even my job at henkels was not bad i was setting up their distribution channel so that was also very challenging and very competitive and i enjoyed doing that and i got that because uh, i don't like to sit idle so when you go first time as trainees they give you different stint projects and yeah. our your they didn't have stint projects they said we'll give you all direct projects but we're thinking hmm. what to give you so i had a lot of free time and i have two ventures of my own so my free time got utilized there and my hmm. hr complained to my manager that you know she's on call more than she's sitting at her desk and hmm. i was very honest to him he knew about all my ventures what i'm doing so i told him see if you're not going to give me work here i have two other businesses i need to sustain so i have work right So hmm. either give hmm. me, but don't ask me to pretend looking at laptop and sit sitting yeah. and reading or having an Excel open and pretend that I'm working. And he was like, I've never seen someone being so honest and you know upfront. बोल दो कि मैं fake काम नहीं करूँगी. मैं कहा वो तो that's obvious. And I think all of us have done that. Yeah, when you don't have work, you're reading articles like uh, PhD कर रहे हम तो. But uh, he, <laughs> and then he said, Do you work on everything? so i was given to work with sales marketing strategy work with everyone choose what you like in 6 months hmm. okay fine i'm working with all the divisions and then in 3 months he goes like okay what's your decision as like i was had 6 months to do it he said no that's too much of a time right now choose so i chose hmm. to work on strategy and then i was a part of every project that he's working and he used to manage uh, asia pacific uh, dubai aimia region a lot of regions so random time slots random calls with dubai team and tunisia team and god knows what not but uh, <laughs> hmm. but still it's still monday here it's more hmm. uh, every day is a new day so you start with a good thing or a bad thing it has to end on a good note because there's no other way <laughs> so that that's my journey that's where i am here so now i train students to be a part of hmm. the school i was which i'm very hmm. proud of Back. So, the biggest moment for me was when uh, I go hire from NMMS. I go train them for students for their summers and final placements. And now I have almost, I can very proudly say, fifty percent of the batch entering NM is trained by me. Wow! So, wow! 
that's where i am very happy and proud to be now do 50% is a huge number it's a it's a huge number fuck okay Absolutely. <laughs> so we had that last year and this year also this year uh, we'll get final results soon but yeah we hmm. are and see the, the unique thing about you is you have that connect with your students as well i mean we've all been in coaching classes and all but i can see that so i have been in touch with a couple of your students for different ventures etc you 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 know them of course yeah. but and they still speak so highly of you and like you're an elder sister and yeah pata nahi yeah in my head it is not humanly possible jo tu karti hai matlab pata nahi kaise karti hai but yeah, kudos to you yaar yeah. i mean yaar yeah, hamara funda to, to still, still sustain that relationship with your with every batch of your students is is unreal is any human is is super human i mean no no it's not super human it's just that you know if we had some mentors like this when we were preparing maybe we would have been hmm. at a different place so that's what we think of he will be there at every nook and corner supporting them and guiding them what to do and what not to do i mean you'll always hmm. get a lot of people do this do that but there hmm. has hmm. to be someone telling you kya nahi karna hai so hmm. we do all of those things and uh, thankfully because of the digital world we are able to stay in touch with everyone from various hmm. years so i do have my people from the past 8 uh, years still in touch and all nice. of them are doing and they most of them are doing way better than i am so i'm very happy <laughs> to get into iims where i couldn't get into london school <laughs> get into oxford and columbia and i'm like ye hum soch nahi sakte the but koi uh, anisha we went through nm ma ke canteen ka dahi papdi chaat bahut sahi hota tha yaar humne humne nail kar diya sab humko aur kuch nahi chahiye i think humne to nm ki bahut aish kari hai humne wo purani building bhi dekhi hai humne wo naya building bhi dekha hai humne best of both worlds hai wala sahi mein exactly aur humne mumbai ke sare clubs bhi dekhe hain sabke shishe tode hain bahut kuch kara hai shishe tode hain glass tode hain bathrooms ke darwaze tode hain matlab kya kya to khair khud ki aankhein phodi hai logo ki aankhein phodi hai I think one thing which I'm I'm sure this nobody ever would have come and told on his channel is two years of NM we both had just one job that after every party सारे लड़के पहुंचने चाहिए was Dudu's job सारी लड़कियां घर पहुंचनी चाहिए was my job तो ये तो पीता नहीं था so it's a good advantage for him and me whatever it is just get it off your head <laughs> you are so sober and sane because of it is when you are back home so yeah aur hamari parties kuch zyada hi hoti thi yaar i think everybody was jealous of our division for having yeah that. yeah and we were those were the, those were the days those were the days <laughs> on that note we need to meet up soon anisha i mean it's it's been too long since we are not caught up in person and this is good yeah, but i would love to meet you hug you in person so kab mil rahe hain hum log yaar batao tum batao i am to here only weekend next weekend milte hain done done for sure next for weekend sure. long weekend milte hain yes yes so uh, thanks yaar anisha for for doing this i mean Uh, you're someone who has never ceased to inspire me with her dedication, with her enthusiasm. जो तू बोल रही थी ना कि college खत्म होने के बीच में और job join करने के बीच में दो महीने का time होता है तो मैं खाली क्यों बैठूँ मैं काम करती हूँ हम जैसे लोग उस time पे Netflix खत्म करते हैं हम लोग हम जैसे लोग उस time पे gym जाते हैं that was our productive day and yeah comparing to you of course yeah that that's why you are where you are and uh, just just stay the same yeah you are one of the nicest people I I know and you one of the kindest people I know and that kindness and niceness. has taken you here and it will obviously take you much further in down in life as well so just stay the way you are and it's it's been lovely catching up with you and i'll catch up with you in person very soon thank you so much and ye bas aise bolne ke liye ki i'm inspiring a lot you have been killing it too so i think you guys are doing really <laughs> amazing but yeah thank you so much for having me on board